All right, good morning, everyone. It is day 15 of our RV trip. Now that we're getting towards the bigger states, we are only able to hit like one or two a day. So today we are hitting Wyoming and Montana. And uh, we don't have a ton planned, but we are picking up Dakota, which I'm so excited about. It's actually the longest we've ever been apart. <laughs> so um, that's kind of what we have in store for today. But uh, I think we're gonna go get breakfast before, we, or I guess make breakfast. Bailey's making breakfast breakfast right now. Since we have some extra time this morning, I decided to make pancakes. It looks a little crazy, sorry. But I'm making pancakes and I haven't done a time lapse in a long time, so you already know I'm doing a pancake time lapse. This is maybe a touchy subject, but the real question is, do y'all put chocolate chips in your pancakes? Because I literally can't eat pancakes or waffles without chocolate chips, because you know, y'all know I have a major sweet tooth. Everyone I know likes chocolate chips in their pancakes, so comment down below if you're a chocolate chip person or not. There's some more pancake controversy for you. Do you put a ton of syrup or none or just a little? I literally soak my pancakes in syrup. I put peanut butter on my pancakes. That's disgusting. It's delicious, actually. Yep. Don't judge them, okay? I'm, I'm flipping them with this thing, which is much harder than it looks. They might not be pretty, but they'll taste good. <sighs> These are the mornings that I love. The ones where we're sitting amongst the pine trees, eating our little bit funky looking pancakes and eggs, and I'm just like, <sighs> it feels so nice outside. I don't know if you guys can see this, but the further and further we get into this trip, the more and more cracked my screen is. It's not the actual screen, it's like the screen protector, but it is so cracked. Every day, a new one appears. Also, do you wanna see what you look like right now? Look at this. I had to do something like this. It's balancing on a freaking Glade air freshener, okay? The stuff I have to do to set this camera up, unreal. This is blasphemy. Show me what you were just about to do. Eat it without syrup. No! You're about to see me, literally. There's gonna be no pancake, it's just gonna be syrup only. It's crazy. And here's Brooklyn coming out with her peanut butter. To each their own, I suppose. Love the bed head, babe. Mm -hmm. Loving it. There it is. John the syrup. I don't deny. And then peanut butter and syrup. <laughs> Listen, no one, no one said we were innocent, okay? I said I was guilty from the beginning. We have to crouch a little to get into this frame. But since we're chilling eating breakfast this morning, I thought I'd say if you are just joining us on this journey, then let me tell you a little bit about what we're doing. We are trying to travel to all 50 states before I start my next period, which gives us about a week to finish it up. Yep. We have hit about 37 or 38 states so far. We've got several more we have to hit. But in the midst of all this, we are also raising money for period poverty. We have a new goal of $200,000 before we end our trip. And if we make that, Billy and I will get matching tattoos. Which is crazy. So you can donate to help end period poverty in the link in our description box. Or if you can't afford to or not in a position where you can donate, you can just subscribe. There's a red subscribe button, just click it. It costs you nothing and it's helping somebody, which is amazing. So go click that subscribe button to help out. On to Wyoming. It smells like pine trees. I love camping. <laughs> and Camry. It just smells like Utah. Which is a home sweet home for Camry. So I was looking for my shoes, threw the trash away and I found the culprit. Why do my feet look so small in your shoes? <laughs> this is ridiculous. Oh my gosh. Gotta get my Dr. Pepper. I found this Pucker Powder Sour Bar Popsicle. It was like 60 cents at the gas station and I thought, why not? It says it is gonna be sour green apple. I like sour stuff. It smells like green apple. <laughs> <laughs> is it sour? No. Not sour, but it does taste good. <laughs> People are gonna judge you so hard for biting into that. Sandals, socks and sandals. They have returned. They have returned. I've gone to the dark. As to have Camrys. Yeehaw! Wyoming! <laughs> Wyoming, me, 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 why? Me! All right, Wyoming, we have found you. And there is, there's really? not a lot around here. So we're gonna go to the nearest town and uh, we have an activity planned in the nearest town. Let's go. Wyoming. 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 
Look, even the street's abandoned. I gotta give it to Wyoming though, because they had a pull out pullover spot to take pictures at the sign. Good job, Wyoming. <laughs> All right, pottery painting, let's go. Oh my gosh, you guys, look what I found. It feels very fitting to paint something like that. RV life, OOTD check, paint. And I'm loving it. All right, we've got my van. We've got Brooklyn's. Miss Stephanie's making progress. I'm drawing at the moment. Camry's gnome and Asa's cup. This is harder than it looks. Kudos to the artists out there. Looks like Asa is trying to make his own colors. So off, Asa. Guys, my van is looking tragic. I keep getting the pink where my blue is and the blue where my pink is and yikes. Asa's trying to make red, but he's red, green, color blind. So it just looks like brown. Does it look brown? It's looking brown on the thing. <laughs> well, it's called antique red. I'm trying Brooklyn to cover has up made my... absolutely no progress. I'm trying to cover up my oh, mess. Stephanie is moving and grooving. I have recruited Brooklyn's help because I clearly do not have a future in art. <laughs> she is trying to help me fix this this RV. It's a little difficult considering you've gone completely out of the lines. <laughs> completely. Yeah, I'm not great with the brush, I'll be honest. At least yours looks cute. Thank you. I'm drawing the avatar symbols. I did an ombre oh, nice. on the cut. Oh my gosh. Yeah, see, that's why you're in art and I'm not. It was so hard to get those lines. It kind of got better. Yeah, the sparkles helped a lot, I'll be honest. I made a ring tray for Dakota's ring. It says I love you, and then he always tells me I love you one million billion trillion, so I wrote it on the back. <laughs> Good job. And I make, made it a souvenir, so of my trip. Nice. I got the traveling gnome. I did all of the elements. It's kind of pretty good. Okay, so we finished up pottery painting and now we are on our way to the next stop. You should see the way Ace is walking right now. We finished up pottery painting and we're going to the next stop, which is the border of Montana. Montana, we're coming for you. Okay, since we're all hungry, we had a little break in this town before a, a three hour drive to the next spot. I decided to go to one of my favorite places. Starbucks! The strawberry acai was calling my name. So it's been a few days since I've done this, but I'm back at McDonald's. You, you, you already know why I'm here. You know why I'm here. Here we go. Oh my God. Can't feel bad, I'm gonna get that straw. Ooh, this one's good. Okay, I don't know if you guys know this, but me and Brooklyn both have the same favorite author, favorite series called Throne of Glass. Throne of Glass. And I have been trying to convince Asa to read slash listen to this series for like the entirety of our relationship, AKA like six years. And look what I just caught him reading. Hey babe, what is that that you're reading? Throne of Glass. Oh uh, yeah? Yeah. And I'm listening to it at the same time. You finally caved? Yeah, I'm listening to it at the same time. Prepare to have your mind blown. Montana! You're we are here! Very, very beautiful. We're all admiring. The rolling hills? The rolling hills of Montana. I have never been here. Never, but it looks like a great place to ride a horse. It matches the sign background, matches the I actual background. Time. Clever, Montana. Clever. Montana, yum. Oh, I was not gonna say that. Do it with me, do it with me. Montana, yum. <laughs> Okay, so we're heading to our next destination, which is the Billings, Montana airport, where Dakota will be flying in. We just got an alert that there's a severe thunderstorm warning. It's really bumpy because the wind is pushing the RV all over the place. We're really hoping that Dakota will land in the next five minutes so that he's not delayed and has to stay in the air for a long time. There's a lot of lightning and a lot of rain directly in front of us. We're driving. 
driving straight into it and we we'll probably have 45 minutes to an hour left of our drive so I'm really hoping that we can pass most of this stuff and get there safely. Wish us luck. You guys, this is insane. This is insane. We're literally only driving 25 miles an hour. It doesn't look as crazy on camera as it is in real life, but we're from Texas and there are a lot of storms and this is pretty wild. This is, this is pretty high. This is pretty bad. It's pretty crazy. So we just got word from Dakota that because of the flooding in the water, the airport is unavailable for him to fly into. So they just landed the plane at a neighboring airport about two and a half hours away and we're currently waiting for word to see if they can fly him into the one in the town that we're staying in. Stay tuned. I know it's- Y'all, look at this. Road closed in half a mile. Your route has been updated. Okay, remember that storm? Well, now the roads are flooded and we're about to have to drive through all of this. We don't have a choice. Look at this. Oh my gosh. That girl's outside of her car and she's up to her knees. Thank you guys. Oh my gosh. So, good news everyone. Dakota's flight got re-rerouted back to Billings Airport. So he's gonna make it tonight, albeit a little bit later than we originally thought, but I'm so excited, I'm so relieved. I have never been apart from him this long and I did not wanna wait any longer. So he will be here shortly and I'm so excited. All right, I'm in Billings. I'm gonna go get my luggage and then I'm headed to the RV. I'm ready. It's been a long day. I gotta put my shoes on. Hey, baby. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Don't ever leave me again, ever, ever again, ever. Look who made it! I'm here. It's been a long day, but. It's a miracle. I know. It really is a miracle that I made it here. <laughs> oh, so we were up in the air, and the pilot gets on. And he's like, the runway has Perfect. one to two feet of water on it, so we can't land. So we're just going to do circles. So we did circles around like Billings for a good hour. And then he gets on there, and he's like, we only have 25 minutes left of fuel. So I that, can't believe he said that. Yeah. Feel. So then I was like, okay. So I start looking down. I start looking at like straight roads for like a runway. My hands started getting sweaty. <laughs> I was like so nervous. I was actually scared. It's at least one blessing for the night that I Dakota's know. here. I am here. Someone's happy, huh? I know. Yes. <laughs> We're happy to have him here. Mm -hmm. time for bed but I'm gonna do the donations really quick before we head to bed. Bailey fell asleep so it's just me tonight but yeah let's look at donations. We're at a hundred and forty four thousand eight hundred dollars which means we're almost to a hundred and fifty thousand that's actually insane. Our new goal is two hundred thousand dollars before we end the trip so see if we can get there. It'd be totally awesome if we can. Bailey and I are gonna get matching tattoos if we do but 144 y'all is mind-blowing. That is actually insane. Every Every dollar counts, every dollar helps someone. And just remember, if you don't have the money to donate, you can always subscribe to our channel and we will donate for you. So be sure to do it as easy as a click of a button. That being said, it is so late. It is time for me to go to bed. I'm gonna go to sleep. Good night, y'all.